little spider here. What is up, reviewees? Coming at you from the garage. We're uh, in here today to hang up the Rogue uh, belt hanger we got a while back, but needed to figure out a place for it. It's going right here, but there's only one, uh, one stud, and we have like eight holes we have to hit, so we have to go into drywall. These things, we are trying for you. We've never used them, but I saw them at a big box store. You can pretty much get them. Made in America right there, you see. Um, drywall anchors. So we're gonna give it a try. Normally, you need one of these bad boys. But these things claim not. Just a hammer and a screwdriver. Welcome to the Review Board! Sit right down and just enjoy. Eat it on steak before you go out and buy. These are the guys. The Review Board! Welcome to the Review Board! Sit right down and just enjoy. Jake, Joe, Petey, Puff, and the boys are on the Review Board. Welcome to the Review Board! Yeah! Go ahead. Thumbs up this video, like it, subscribe, so you can check out more of our content, so we can keep bringing you things like this. So, this costs you about 13 bucks, 25 pieces. Now, the thing is, you need the special screw that comes with it. Let's get rid of that. So, this looks like it. Now, they do have clear ones of these. So, if you don't want that bright yellow, but we're gonna be covering it up, you're not gonna see it you need the special type B flat screw that comes with it. This is one and a quarter inch. Now you can use any type B flat screw. Let's uh, see if this works. You need a toolbox. Three. Or a tool belt. No, because if you have a toolbox, then that means you have more stuff you have to do. Jeez, I have we let We let Puff keep those things. All right, Puff's really handy with them. So uh, thanks Puff, appreciate it. Where's he at for this? All right, so come around this side because you got to see it. I don't have really a bad side, but you know. So I've already went ahead and marked out the holes where they need to go. Um, so we're gonna see, you just put this in and these little uh, flaps go in. I don't know, I've never done this. Normally I do it the other way. Oh. Key, there's an arrow on this. Do you guys see that? Arrow up, I believe the instruction said. So good thing, there's a little arrow at the top that needs to point up when you're doing it. So good thing I saw that. Hey, wall, wall claw, good job, you know. All right, so we're just gonna tap it in. Tap, tap, tap a room. Okay, see that? the hammer like that. okay so we're just gonna do that now supposedly when we screw that in that's gonna expand back there you can use this in half inch or five eighths inch drywall let's do another one okay arrow up yep check that good job all right that was better puff will be happier with that second one that first one looked a little you know a little dainty as he would call it. So I just didn't want to punch through there. So when you use this, it supposedly expands it. So the flat head, and I'll go ahead. I won't make you uh, watch all of it. So when you put that in there, it does its job. So I went ahead and got some washers so I can hang that up. So I will uh, save you the time of watching all this part because with the magic of editing, you guys will just see like, bam, it's up there. Yeah, not that fast, but you know. So far, pretty good. That's way nicer than, you know, normally you gotta drill out the hole, you know, get the drill bit, flip it around, put the screwdriver on, and then get the hammer, tap the next one in. So if this holds, you know, it's gonna be nice. All right, so that was actually pretty quick. Total time for me to put that up was like seven minutes uh, for, eight screws, lining it all up. Did use the drill to get it started. I went nice and slow because hand cranking was uh, gonna take a while. 
and then just finished it off with the hand uh, screwdriver. Um, so like Puff says, in fishing, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. You can obviously tell, um, you can't see it anyway. We went ahead, I threw some kettlebells up there. It's not designed to hold kettlebells, um, but we've got 25 pounds on this side, 20 on this side. It's for bands, you know, it's for belts. Mrs. Review Board's belt there, you know. Um, so we're not gonna hang kettlebells here, but you can. I mean, this says if it's in, you know, this is why you check out the review board. We do things like that. That was the first thing I put up there. I'm like, it's either gonna hold or not. It's gonna be great television. Um, so yeah, if you've got it in a half inch drywall, 90 pounds capacity, five eighths, 125 pounds. So um, ease, guys, ease ability, 10 out of 10. You saw how quick and easy this thing was to get in there. Um, and right now it's holding. We'll see how long term this is, but uh, I'd check this out. This is a definite I'd buy again. And they say to take it out, um, just back your screw out and then just hold on to it and pull it and you'll have the hole about the size of a nail and then those two little wings will be in there. So it is supposed to be able to be removable as well. So that's cool. Um, so check it out. Pretty good product so far. Um, got, got our rogue belt up, belt hanger. So we, uh, we get to clean this mess up that we've got going on here. Guys, thanks for checking us out. We appreciate it. Uh, all you reviewees help us out. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. It really does help. We're at 356 and growing. Let's go. Come on and remember, round here, if no one's told you today, you're a 10 out of 10. Let's go.